A lot more on this situation. Uh, the chief of the Division of Emergency Management, Alex, told us the numbers you're about to share should be alarming. Yeah, Izzy, as you've already mentioned, there are only two pediatric ICU beds available in the 19 county North Texas region. So what does that mean? If a child has a car wreck, has COVID or anything that requires ICU care, there are only two beds available in a 19 county North Texas region. That's why leaders are pushing for vaccines for anyone who can get them and masks as COVID continues to spread. More than a year into the pandemic, Dr. Emma Dishner shared her concern. I worry more at this junction in the pandemic than I did at any other time. And I uh, was pregnant and gave birth in the middle of it. And this is by far the most frightening part. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins continued his push for vaccinations, especially as the Delta variant continues to spread. Our first variant. If, if I got the virus or you got the virus, on average, at its worst, we would spread it to two people. With the Delta variant, as you can see, it's around five people. Two months ago, the Delta variant only made up 12% of the cases in Texas. According to the UT Southwestern's latest study, the Delta variant makes up 97% of the cases now in North Texas. Jenkins spoke while in the middle of a legal battle. He's asking the courts to rule on whether he can require face coverings and overrule Governor Greg Abbott's ban. The enemy is not Greg Abbott. It's not each other. It's not the unvaccinated. The enemy is the virus itself. And as a new school year gets underway, leaders want to remind you this pandemic is not over. I worry that the spike is only going to worsen. Um, so I highly encourage children, teachers, anyone associated with school to wear masks to help prevent the spread and protect themselves. The stakes are high for public health, for our community and for our children. So given the seriousness of this moment, I asked Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins if he believes there should be another lockdown in the state of Texas. He told me at this point that is not the CDC guidance, but it is something that they are watching very closely as this situation continues to evolve. We're live in Dallas tonight. I'm Alex Rosier.